Shalom. We'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the apostles and the elders of Asherala. Peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David, the hope of elect. And we're going to go through the spirit, um, the prophecies, and we want to go into uh, Wisdom of Silence, the second chapter, and just go into it through the spirit because um, we got to realize that we're, we're heading into the time of um, uh, persecution. Yeah. Right against the, uh, the saints, man, the true believers of Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. Yahweh And so these are the one of the things that we have to meditate on. Because um, the scripture also says, Isaiah 33 and 6, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the, the, the stability of that times um, and the strength of salvation. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is treasure. So it's, we have to know these things because it's for our learning. I got this uh, definition for the word persecution. Mm -hmm. It says persecution. Hostility and ill treatment, especially because of race, or political, or religious beliefs. All right, and that's pretty much what we're going to face, you know, as the men of the Lord, you know, Lord William, we are those men. Um, and this is what we have to count. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai spoke about counting the cost. Mm -hmm. You know, going to really understand what you're involved in, okay, concerning this ministry, concerning. Uh, prophesying on the behalf of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and um, basically the, the opposition right, that comes with that, which that opposition is going to come in the form of our enemies, right? Esau, Edom, the so called white man, and these different um, agents, if you will, right, that eventually are going to come for the men of the Lord. However, um, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, real quick, Isaiah 59. And verse 19. Mm -hmm. Alright, although brothers are gonna you know face persecution, brothers are gonna suffer persecution, as it's gonna say in this scripture here, the Lord is gonna lift up a standard for his men. Okay, so let's let's get that real quick. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. So let's start there. He's fearing the name of the Lord from the west. And what does it mean by the West? It's speaking about the Western Hemisphere, primarily North America, Babylon the Great, as it's biblically known. Okay, and this is where you have the twelve tribes of Israel collectively gathered right, together as a nation, just as in the days of old in ancient Egypt. Well, guess what? America is the, the modern day Egypt, North America to be exact. And this is where you have, um, like I said, the twelve tribes of Israel being oppressed together once again. Pursuant to Jeremiah 50 and verse 33. So read that again. Come. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. And what's the name of the Heavenly Father? His name in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh. Right? It's the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their descendants, right? The Israelites, and who we are. Okay? His name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh. And we worship Yahweh through his beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That's why you always hear us here at Great North Star, yeah. big enough. Yahweh Bashna was shy. Okay? And we fear those names. Okay? We fear those names. That's why we do what we do. Okay? By going out there on the hours and but well, first of all, learning this truth, right? Learning learning this word, learning the scriptures, and then going forth and uh, propagating the Lord's word. We do that out of fear, lest, you know, we find ourselves in the case of the two third that hear this word and just do their own thing, you know, being rebellious. Go ahead. And his glory from the rising of the sun. And his glory from the rising of the sun. Meaning, when our Lord comes back, he's going to come from the east. Because that's where the sun rises. Okay, and he's going to come with a multitude of angels. As is written in, um, I want to say, it's Psalm 68 and around verse 17. Yeah. It speaks about how our Lord is going to come back with thousands upon thousands of angels, man. Mm -hmm. get it? You can get that, yeah, you can get that. You know? Because that builds up our faith too, mm -hmm. you know? The, the, the power in which Yahweh Shai is coming back, you know, to, to deliver his elect, the elect of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yep, this is uh, Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000. Yeah, the chariots of the Most High is speaking about the vehicles that Yahweh Shai is going to come back in and the vehicles that people are seeing today, right? The only difference is that they call them UFOs, right? UAPs. 
in the Bible they're known as the chariots. Okay, a chariot simply means a vehicle, and our Lord is coming back in what people are they call UFOs. So read that again. Yep, this is Psalm 68 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, mm -hmm. even thousands of angels. So the Lord's coming back with thousands of angels, man. Right. Right? Thousands of angels. So in, in reality, the elect of Israel, there's no, there's no need to fear, man. Right, right. They're, as it's written in the, the history, there's more of us mm -hmm. than, than them, you know? There's more of us than them. So. That's right. And the Lord didn't give us the spirit of the spirit, spirit yeah. yeah. No more of a sound mind. Of, of a no. sound mind. Yeah. And where does that where does the, the sound mind come from? Mm -hmm. Knowing these scriptures. Yeah. It says in Isaiah 33, verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability yeah. of thy times. Right? So having this these you know, knowing these scriptures, that's what keeps you stable. Mm -hmm. That makes you that's what makes you not bug out. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. It says the Lord is among them. Mm -hmm. As in Sinai in the holy place. Right, so that's that's that. Let's go back to your Isaiah 59. Okay. Uh, back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the enemy, of course, speaking about Esau, Edom, and his different agents, whether it be the CIA. Hmm. The FBI or whoever, right? Whoever is on his team, when they come in like a flood, right? Meaning their their military might, their police force. That's when the Lord is going to lift up a standard for His elect, right? And I believe when you go to that word uh, standard, I don't know what it is in the Hebrew, but it's defined as um. As a matter of fact, let's just mm -hmm. let's just bring it out. Let's yeah, look it up. You know, I believe it's to to disappear. To disappear, yeah, to disappear. And how do you disappear? You disappear through spiritual power. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, That's right. like I said, man, you know, although persecution is ahead of us, there's also light at the end of the tunnel, and there's also um, a way out. Mm -hmm. You can get that in um, 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 13, mm -hmm. about how the Lord, it's a way to, 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 yeah. yeah, and will make a way for you mm -hmm. to escape. That's right. So that's what we're, you know, that's what we're banking on. You know, we're banking on miracles here, man. Yep. And Yahweh Bashma Shai is going to perform miracles for his elect. Right? Even in the time that we're coming into, where there's going to be uh, food shortages, you know, famine. It says in Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65 and what, verse 12 or 13, mm -hmm. it speaks about how my servant shall eat. Right. Okay, so the Lord is going to perform miracles for us, man. And these are the things that we should be meditating upon. Right. As well as meditating upon the topic that the Bible wants to go into concerning the persecution and understanding the reality of what we're heading into, man. Concerning, you know, these, these people coming for us, man. Yeah. You know? And this is all based on faith. Yeah. We don't know exactly how things are going to be played out. Yeah. We're just going to move through faith. Yeah. That's it. You know? And I got what you asked me. Come, come. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It says, They have no temptation taking you but such as is common to men. Mm -hmm. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So guess what? There's certain men, you know, according to whether it be Revelation 2, verse 10, that are going to find themselves, you know, in these different uh, concentration camps, prison cell, whatever you want to call it, all right? The Lord is going to, you know, be with you in that time, okay? There will be certain brothers that's within this faith, that's within this ministry, that are going to have their, their head chopped off, okay, for what? Resisting Esau's new world order, and for ultimately resisting the mark of the beast, which is the impugnable microchip. Mm -hmm. And that's actually real. This is what the Apostle John saw in his vision, right? We go to Revelation 20, verse 4, and he saw certain brothers having their head yeah. decapitated. Yeah. And that's actually going to come to pass. But guess what? The brothers that are in those predicaments, they don't need to fear, all right? Because guess what? Your Bashna Shai has designed your spirit to endure that predicament. So, okay? He said, um, what is it? Revelation 2 and verse 10. Uh, fear not. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Mm -hmm. You know? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yeah, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Let me just get it real quick, man. I haven't got Revelation 2 yeah. in, this, in the scripture. 
Yeah, you got, I got it in my Bible. I got so it. I don't want to. No, I got it. I got it. Quote it. Yeah, be that. Um, it says, "Be that faithful unto death, and I'll give you a yeah, crown yeah. of life." Be that faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. I got you. This is Revelation two and ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days." Now, who, now who's the devil, man? The devil. What they talking about in this particular verse? They talking about. The physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, which is Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called white man today, yeah. all right, because he's going to make it where either you're going to get down with his program, all right, with his new new world order, his system, all right, or or, or uh, suffer persecution, man. You know, but guess what? We're going to be we're going to be uh, persecuted for righteousness' sake, man, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day. We got a greater reward coming to us, man. For those that endure to the very end, all right, which is the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? So, yeah, we're going to have to endure. We're going to have to suffer persecution. But the scripture says, through much tribulation, that's how you're going to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah. You know? Same way our Lord had to suffer. What makes us different, more uh, 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 special, then the Lord himself, man, mm -hmm. said that um, the, the, the servant is not greater than his master, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord went through it. Guess what? His men is going to go through the same thing, man. And why is that? Because um, the Lord is dealing with gold, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no right. fake gold. And how do you prove gold? You have to put it through the fire. Mm -hmm. All right? So we're going to be tried and tested. But the elect are going to pass the test with flying colors, man. Right. And not for our own merit, it's Yahweh Bashna Shai that's going to give us the spirit to pass that test. That's right. You know, But right now, you know, we're living in a time where we need to be building ourselves up, mm -hmm. meditating upon certain predicaments mm -hmm. that the men of the Lord may go through. Okay? That's right. That's right. It says, Fear none of those things that thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast no of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. Man, that's, the, that's the point, you know. Remain faithful to the very end. Because yeah. there's going to be a time when you, you're not going to see faith upon the earth. It's going to be a lot of people that's going to lack faith because of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. During the time of Jacob's trouble, everything is going gonna, gonna to look like, like damn. The Most High is not with nobody because he's allowing all this thing to happen. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The Lord is with the elect. You know? Because the elect, they're going to eat. They're going to drink during the time of famine. When all hell break loose. You got people, you know, thinking about how they're going to survive. Yeah. What they're going to do. And what they're going to, and, and, and how they're going to feed their families. But we're telling you to have trust in the Lord, man. You know? Oh, what's that scripture that somebody can get? Um, it says, who will ever confound, confound it? Who believe in the Lord? Oh yeah, Sirach. 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 Yeah. Sirach. you know. So here it is. You, we all gonna be put in that position of okay, because because that's that test, that our temptation. Yeah. We gonna all be tried, you know. But who you gonna you know who you gonna ride with, man? Are you gonna ride with the Lord, or are you gonna ride with with this devil and his beast system? You got it. Have you had a little more on that? No, oh, that was it. That was it? Oh, yeah. I so, think it's a rock. It's it's second right? chapter, right? Yeah, it's a rock. Two. And, um, yeah, verse 10. Mm -hmm. It says, Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Right, mm -hmm. so look at all, what, you know, the, the prophets of old, the men of old that trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That called upon Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, right? Have they ever was confounded? You know? The Lord made sure. He uh uh was a great example. Uh Daniel and the lions there. Lion you know, uh, uh the, the three holy children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these are examples that are written for, for today for our learning, man. You know? Everything that will happen to those men and the Lord found a way to to let them escape death and all that, you know, the same thing applies to us today, 
You know, we're going to be set in a situation where we're going to have to resort to the Heavenly Father. We're going to have to call upon Him, trust in Him. You know? Yeah. It says, um, Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or who did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. So that's the, that's the key point, man. Yes. If, we, if we got the names, we, we're going we're gonna to use them in the time of trouble. All right? That's why he gave us those names. He gave us the name Yahweh, his son, uh, Yahweh Shah, you know? To call upon them in the time of trouble, in the time of need, man. Yeah. Hey, it says in Proverbs 18, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous one is into it, and is safe. Mm. And it's safe. And is safe. Safe from what? Safe from harm, man. Right. You know? So that's, you know, that's what, you know, we've been blessed, man. We've been blessed. With the Lord giving us his name, man. And then, and then furthermore, giving us the spirit to do his will. Because it's one thing knowing the name, but it's another thing doing the will of those names. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Now we go off, of course, we go off. We're not perfect. We're in the flesh. However, you know, brothers repent. You know, when, when, when we do go off and, you know, we, we're, we're, we're doing what our Lord told us to do, man, to the best of our ability, sincerely. You know, so in that time, we're going to be able to, or Lord will be endure, we're going to be able to call upon that name in confidence, you know, and with conviction. Right. That's why the Apostle Peter said, give diligence to make your calling and, and election sure. sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. That's why, you know, we just got to pray that the Lord keeps this Holy Spirit upon us, man, to endure, to just keep going, you know. Because in that time, man, you're going to want to be bold in calling upon the name of Yahweh Bashman al Shai. I'm saying you're going to want to do that with boldness. You know? Having faith that Yahweh Bashman al Shai is going to you know, deliver you in that time. You know? Yep. I got something to say. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy, man. So right now, yeah, we're going to have to suffer, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Same way our Lord suffered, man. Yeah. And guess what? We're going to be glorified if we remain all the way to the very end. We're going to be glorified when the Lord comes back. When he set the the, the, the crowns upon the elect's head, yeah. you know, that's going to be the time, you know, because if anything, then we know that we made it. Yeah. We are, we yeah. are those men that's, 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 that's speaking, spoken about. Yeah. That's what we're going to know. And that's clear. Yeah. And that's when we're going to rejoice. Mm -hmm. That's when we're going, you know, we, we're going we're gonna to rejoice in the Lord, man. Because yeah. the Lord basically made us go through this. Yeah. And we, we came, we came out you know, on top, right? So, just know we're gonna have to suffer, brothers. You know, yeah. but it, hey, this ain't the end, man. Yeah. You know, this is the beginning, really. Yeah, it's the beginning. Another good thing to do, you know, for the spirits is to think about the bigger picture, man. Now, think about the bigger picture, and then really think about the how or why how shot. You know, one thing that um, that I meditate upon a lot. Is returning back to the throne. Yeah. <laughs> the next time I go back to the throne, I need the Lord to be pleased with me. You know what I'm saying? I do not want to return back to the throne and the Lord, you know, yeah. be disappointed. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And I want the Lord to be like, well done, you know, man. well done, my faithful servant. You know? Faithful Lord willing, you know, Lord willing. But these are the things that, you know, you just want to meditate upon it in the spirit, like right. looking at the bigger picture and then. Thinking what about what he, he had for us. What he, exactly what he done for us. What Yahweh Shai did for us, man. See, we, we want to be able to bring out these scriptures, these different precepts, break it down, our brothers break it down without Yahweh Shai going through what he went through. Just off of that, mm -hmm. we owe our Lord, you know, we, yeah. just, we, we owe our Lord everything, man. Everything. So. Everything. Yeah. We're in debt. I don't know how to pronounce that word, in debt. In debt. debt. In debt. In debt, we're in debt, indebted. It's the time. You know, in <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're we're in debt to our Lord, man. For real, you know. 
and yeah. pay our Lord back, you know, through what we do, you know, by serving Him, man, by uh, utilizing the talents that He gave unto us. Mm -hmm. Which the talents is what? Break, you know, being able to break down these scriptures. And we've been given the, 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 the greatest gift, mm -hmm. which is to prophesy, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. And we could not have done this without the Lord going on that cross. We read about that in the, in the book of uh, Revelation, the fifth chapter, yeah. with, with the Apostle John. You know, he was weeping. Mm -hmm. And then the angel said, um, Weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah mm -hmm. has prevailed. You know, and, and our Lord was able to unseal these scriptures, man. The that's understanding. Right. You know, yeah. That's why, um, because of Revelation, the fifth chapter, that's why Yahweh Shah is worshipped. Yeah. By angels, by everyone. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah will be worshipped. Going to the Philippians, I think the third chapter, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. Alright, but I got scripture real quick. This is uh, Romans 8. And I'm going to start with 14. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. Now, what's that talking about? Because it's not, it's not just talking about anybody. You have to be Israelite first and foremost to be led by the Spirit of the Most High. Yeah. All right? Those are the ones that's going to be the sons because that's talking about the whole four elect. It says, For ye have not received the Spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the Spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So what? We haven't received the spirit of fear when we come in this truth, man. All right? We got the spirit of courage, the spirit of, 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 of uh, salvation. All right? Because why? Because Yahweh Shai has given us, given us the secrets, man. Because of Yahweh Shai going to the cross. Yahweh Shai conquered death. Yep. It says... And death, where is thy sting? And death, where is thy sting? Because look, we know that what? When Yahweh Shai comes back, we're going to be just like how Yahweh Shai is going to be. And really, we don't really die because Yahweh Shai conquered death. So, we, well, our life, you know, Lord willing, if we be up here, like, our life is going to be full of immortality. Yeah. You know? It doth not yet appear what we shall be, but when he shall appear, we know that we shall be like him. Mm -hmm. You know? We're going to be changed into that angelic force that, yeah. you know, he is right now. It speaks about how the Lord is not going to meet me as a man. That's right. So, these are things that we can, you know, look forward to. Yep. It says, 16, it says, The Spirit of self burdens with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs. Right, because this, this book only relates to Israel, man, from front to back. You know, it's, it's no such thing as, you know, that the Lord is coming back to save everybody on the earth. The Lord hates <laughs> certain members, certain people that he created. You know, the Lord does hate, man. You know, and this book is only for the Israelites, man. From Genesis that, uh, to, to Revelation, the Apocrypha, you know, only states about the salvation of Israel, man. Beginning with the elect. Yeah, it says in the Psalms, or it says 147, he showeth his word unto Jacob. To Jacob, yeah. His statutes and commandments unto Israel, he have not dealt so with any nation. That's right. And you can follow that up with Malachi, right? Malachi 3, verse 6. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord has not changed. The Lord has not changed. Mm -hmm. You know, therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right. So the Lord has always been dealing with the house of Israel, the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans from the very beginning, man. Mm -hmm. So salvation is for our people, but more so in particular for the elect of Israel. And us brothers and certain of sisters that's within this truth, we've been given a great opportunity at um, achieving salvation, man. If we do our Lord well, really, it's, it's, it's whether if you're the elect or not. Right. But, you know, we've been given op an opportunity to serve your house, now Shai, and have that hope. That's right. the, the hope that we actually are the elect. Right. The Apostle Paul said, um, put on as the elect. There you go, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put on as the elect. So we have hope. We have hope, and that's supposed to um, bring peace of mind. That's supposed to like right. give you comfort, man. That you know what, I could possibly be of the Lord's elect. You know, if I just continue doing yeah. what I'm doing, you know, serving the Lord, you know, trying trying to be an upright man in this wicked society. Yeah. You know, and, and we and we, see, and we see the vision too. Yeah, because you got you got have you got to have vision first, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the prophets are known as the seers. Yeah, you yeah. know, and yeah. the scriptures also mention that. Uh, when no, when uh, they don't have no vision, the, the people perish. perish. Yeah. You know, so there it is. Jake Jake don't see the you know as far as the kingdom. 
they don't see, the, they only know this, yeah. you know, as America and this and that, you know, we're here to just basically be ruled over. No, it's, it's bigger than that, man. The Lord is ready to take take back the kingdom, man, yeah. and give it, give it to his people, man. This is what it's all about, you know? Uh, uh, in a society that that's righteous, man. All right, we ain't gonna have to worry about trannies and and and, and homos in the, in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's gonna be done away with, man. Nigga shooting up your block, right? Uh, nigga selling selling uh, dope in front of in, in front of his porch, you know. Niggas fucking <laughs> putting yeah. tattoos of cockroaches on them. This place. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's demonic, man. You know, all that, all that uh, adultery. You know, man sleeping with a, uh, a, a, a man's woman. You know, that ain't gonna happen in the kingdom, man. Yeah. So yeah. everything's <laughs> gonna be set in order, man. Yeah. The Lord, the Lord gonna make all things new. Yeah. You know, meaning refreshed. Yeah. And it starts with this truth. Because mm -hmm. what did um, Jude say? Though you once knew this, mm -hmm. I will uh, still your, I will. Bring this back to your remembrance, mm -hmm. though you once knew this. Mm -hmm. So, like, that refreshing is starting right now, man. Mm -hmm. It starts with the elect, the Lord re re awakening us to this truth, man. That's, right. That's, right. That's where the refreshment starts. Kingdom of heaven starts with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 That's right. It says 18. It says, This is a Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to That's be compared right. with the glory which shall be revealed. In us, and what's that talking about? When, when we change, man. Okay, going back to Jude, when it talks about that, um, the angels was left their first estate. Mm -hmm. But we're those angels that left our first estate. We're put now in these everlasting chains of darkness. But we're waiting, um, and we're wait, waiting on that judgment. Waiting on the judgment, what for Yahweh Shad to come? What do, we, what do we know? Just like the priest just said, we know that when Yahweh Shad comes, we, right now we don't know what the goal looks like. But we know or what he appears to be with. But we know when the Lord comes back, we're going to look just like the Lord. And we're going to see him for as he is. Yeah. You see that? So that's what we're waiting for, man. We, that's 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 our hope and our faith, all right, that we do the work that the Lord um, told us to do, all right? And then um, we get a reward, which is we get to come go back to our first estate. Man. All right? It says, yeah, because that, that reward is going to, it's gonna outweigh all the suffering that you that you catch on this side, man. You know, yeah. to the point where you know we we don't even deserve that. The way the way we're gonna be blessed is like <laughs> the Lord didn't have to do that for us, man. You know, but yet the Lord is a, 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 a man of His word. You know, you know He's He's a, He. This is what He. This is what He promised. For, for us, man. All right, that that we will have a, we're gonna have a kingdom for us. That's what we're gonna be ruled in righteousness. The Lord said He went to uh, uh, make a place for thee, man. Yeah. You know, in my in my Father's house there are many mansions. Mm. You know, eyes have not seen, ears have not yeah. heard things that the Lord has prepared for for those that love Him, man. So it's gonna it's gonna be a precious time, man. You know, to see the fall of our enemies, man. Yeah. Because once they go down, once these Edomites they go down, it's over. We're gonna rule forever and ever, man. Mm -hmm. And this is something that the, the so-called white man is nervous about, man. Okay, with the whole replacement theory, they know what time it is. They know Jake is rising back up. So now these devils are nervous, man. But they're all, you know, a part of the, the, the Most High's plot. You know, he, he, he raised Esau up to be in the, the power seat. But he, uh, right now he, he's falling. He's, he's, about to, he's about to give this thing up. Because this is his end. 19. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Yeah, that's, that's, that goes back to the scripture uh, when, the, when the righteous are in authority, uh, the people rejoice. 
and when the wicked bears rule, the, the people will mourn, man. So the whole earth right now, they can't wait for the Israelites to come back into power, man. You know, everybody's suffering, man. The whole earth as, as a whole is suffering. Because the earth gives off a spirit. You know, it's like everything is, everybody is just mourning and because of what this devil has done. So they're, they're looking for the Israelites to, to, to come into power, man. Because we gonna, we gonna rule this place in righteousness, man. You ain't gotta worry about, you know, uh, uh, man, man taking other men's lands and, and resources. You know, we ain't, we ain't gonna have to worry about that in the kingdom to come. Hey, even the trees don't have to worry about yeah. being cut down. Animals, yeah. the animals. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have to worry about the pollution. The, the creatures in the sea, yeah. they don't have to worry about the sea being all fucked up. Right, because they're the suffering is, too. They're suffering. They're man. suffering too, man. They're suffering. Everybody's suffering, man. They're suffering, man. And I'm what is it saying there? Is that Proverbs 29 and 2? When the righteous yeah. are authority, yeah. when the when the, when the righteous spirit fall, the people rejoice, when the wicked are in authority, yeah. the people yeah. mourn. Yeah. I'm paraphrasing, yeah. you know? So yeah. everyone is mourning right now, man, because this devil is in rulership. And this is why we're hastening Yahweh Bashnah to try to do his thing. You know, which is, again, bringing it back to the topic, which includes us going through that fire. You know, being persecuted. You know, the en you know our enemies coming for us. And that's a real, that's, that's a reality. It's going to be a, a reality. Yeah, because the scriptures speak on mortars, you know? Yeah. People that's going to uh, basically be uh, put to death. Yeah. All right? Mm. As a, as a, uh, you know, sacrifice. That's how they're gonna glorify it. Yeah, you know, you glorify it yeah, for, for the Lord's sake, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got something real quick, so I can mm -hmm. just a quick piece of. Oh, go, um, go back to what you was asking. This is Proverbs twenty nine two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And who's the righteous? The Israelites. Mm -hmm. so that when the Israelites are in authority, beginning with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, that's when the people are gonna rejoice. The only people that aren't going to rejoice are you, the Edomites. The Edomites. You're cursed. You're not going to This That's why it says in Lamentations 4, verse 21, <laughs> oh, oh, door of Edom, rejoice. Mm -hmm. you know? so now's your time to live it up. Live it up while you can, because once your kingdom goes down and your elites go into slavery, and then you come back in the reincarnation through your elites, it's pure hell. It's pure, true. unfiltered hell for, <laughs> for, your, for your race, all right? for your stock. Of people, yep. but guess what? The other, the other, the other nations—they're gonna even be rejoicing to an extent because the righteous are gonna be in authority, and we're gonna, we're gonna rule this world in righteousness, man. Oh, real quick, real quick, let's go. Quick, quick, sir. This is Isaiah chapter fourteen and oh, verse. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna start at six. It said, "He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted." And none hinder it. Yeah, that's talking about Esau Edom, okay, the, uh, the so called white nation via here in America, which is Babylon, man, okay? Because why? Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And right now, um, America is ruling, um, America's that great harlot, all right, that whore, okay, that, um, that, um, Sin had made, waters. right, and had uh, sitting upon many waters and had made the whole earth drunken with the, um, wine of, uh, fornication, which is. You know, their philosophies, philosophies. You know, their doctrines, what they propagate, which mm -hmm. is basically lies. And all the, all the nations, including a portion of our people, eat up their lives, you know. They drink on their lives, which is their wine. Mm -hmm. Which all make them drunk. Drunk. Yeah, they're drunken on their lives, man. Right? And what they push, which is everything against, that's, you know, that's against the scripture, right. pretty much. Right. And the result, it says, the whole earth is at rest, and it's quiet. Why is the whole earth at rest and quiet? Because why? When you go to Habakkuk, the second chapter, it says that they, um, they, um, let me get it. You know, go to Habakkuk 2 and 5 from here real quick. I'll go you. Yeah. Because it says that they heap it, um, all places and it's as death, roughly paraphrasing, the brothers don't get it. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 mm -hmm. and verse 5. It mm -hmm. says, yeah, also, because he transgressive by wine. Transgressive what by wine? Talking about the laws, philosophies, okay, by his false indoctrination. What does he transgress? Transgress the borders, man. The law gave everybody borders. Everybody got their own land. But what you, you transgress that by bringing in your own philosophies, your wine. 
per case in point, what happened to the northern tribe, Reuben and Gad. You see? The Lord said that you were speaking smooth things. The word is smoother than butter. I mean, smoother than oil. But war was in your heart. Mm -hmm. Good, it says, yeah, also, because he transgresseth by wine, mm -hmm. he is a proud man. He's a proud man. Who was that describing? You eat like you so called white people. You're proud. Okay, you go into and you go into every country and you rape, rob, pillage, murder. Okay, and then you industrialize everybody and and and, and you give them a debt. Yeah, extortion. Extortion. That's that's the um, definition of extortion, man. It says, um, "Neither keepeth at home." Neither what? Keepeth at home. You don't keep at home, man. That's why the whole earth is at rest because you're everywhere. Okay, you're you you're, you're in the forest. You're in the water. You're in the you're in the heavens. You're in the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says, "Who enlargeth his desire as hell?" Who who enlarges his desire as hell? That's why the whole earth is gonna be at rest because you're not gonna be able to do more do any more damage. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be in the pit where you belong because mm -hmm. we are all tired of you damn Edomites, man. Tie you people, man. But you how it sounds that he see you people fall like lightning. Yeah. Good, bro. It says, and is as death. I cannot be satisfied. <laughs> yo, yo, do you understand what do you do you understand what the Lord's telling them to be dealing with right now? And two does what two does what people don't know who they're dealing with. It says that he is as death. And read that again. And it's what? It says, no, it says and it. is as death. And cannot be satisfied. And cannot be satisfied. So Yahweh Shah said, if he doesn't speed up time for the elect's sake, no flesh is going to be saved. Because why? There's a madman running things, man. There's a madman running the world. His name is Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. yeah, bro. But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Just like the priest said, what? The woman of, of, of many waters, right? Yeah, and that gathereth unto him all nations and keepeth, up, keepeth unto him all people is going into his new world order. Yeah. All right? Going in, into his new world order and that important microchip. Basically, it's a thing of control, yeah. right? It's a thing of Esau wanting control and him having a God complex, basically. Right? right. Having, having, having control over the people. And, yeah. and what better way to have control over the people by getting them chipped? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what this devil wants to do. So let me go back to um, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. That was it on there, right? Yeah, that was it. Isaiah 14, and back in uh, verse 7, it says, The whole earth is at rest, and it's quiet, because why? The so-called white man is taken down, yeah. taken out of power. You know? You don't have to, now, now it ain't going to be no wars yeah. on the yeah. earth. No? Yeah, you're not gonna hear no uh, sirens in the yeah. kingdom of heaven. Yeah. I know ambulance <laughs> sirens, no That's police great. sirens. Right. Everything is gonna be a, a, a great deal of peace on the earth, man. And everything is gonna be in order. Yeah. And everyone's gonna know their order. Everyone's yeah. gonna know their place. Right. All these the different nations, even amongst our people. Yeah. There's gonna be order, man. Mm -hmm. You know. It but says, it says, um, and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. You know, people people are gonna be rejoicing. Because yeah, right. why the rightful owners of the planet Earth is back in power. So everything is gonna be read in order, right? Yeah. In, under righteousness, right? There's gonna be a sense. Everything's gonna be done fairly, man. Right. You know, yeah, there's gonna be right. no injustice yeah, right. in our kingdom. Right. You know? It says, um, yea, the fair trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying since thou art laid down mm. no feller has come up against us you know that's going into the you know the, the deforestation that Esau does and they wonder why bears be in your backyard exactly you know because this man is the ultimate devil we need we need plants we need trees for oxygen man yeah. and what this devil does he cuts it down and renovates it and put a a, a whole a flea of a, a, a malls or you know, uh, uh, food chains or whatever, Walmart, whatever it is, man. Because this man, don't, he doesn't care about the earth. Right. Yeah. You, and know? Then you know what this devil says? Oh, 
is a um CO two a problem. Right. There's a problem with the, the they're trying to say that what that, with the there's a problem with the elements, but you cutting down the elements. You right. don't want us cutting down the trees, and the trees are the one that breathe in CO two. Yeah, and here it is. This <laughs> devil, he has the nerve to have an Earth Day, a Earth yeah, Day, yeah. man. Here it is that he's he's the one that created all this shit happening in the Earth. Now they want to ban uh, plastic bags. Right. It's too late for that. They have particular islands that just full with trash, man. Yeah. So this this man then he didn't destroy the whole entire earth. At one time the earth was was beautiful, man. All right, but it's gonna go back to that state. The time of uh, you know the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Okay, that, that that was that was basically the whole earth, man. At one time. It was a paradise. It was a paradise. And now you see the earth, man. It's all fucked up. It's all jacked up because of why this devil ruling, man. So he has to be taken down. Concrete all over the place. Yeah, sure. that's why you know back brothers, brothers' backs be messed up. You know, walking with all type of limps and, and you know having pains everywhere, man. For you're not supposed to be walking on no concrete. You're supposed to walk on grass, man. Yeah, yeah that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. Um, I could go a little more. I mean, I keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, twenty-two. Right. So it says. uh uh, verse 9 says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stareth up the dead for thee. Even so that's what's coming to uh, <laughs> these Edomites, yeah. right? Hell from beneath. That's yep. basically going to what they're going to receive in, in the kingdom, which is yep. the curses. Mm -hmm. You know, we went through the curses. Now you're going to go through the curses. Hell from beneath is, is hell from beneath. Read that again. It says, hell from beneath is moved for thee mm. to meet thee at thy coming. So they got, they got, they got the curses to look forward to. Right. right. <laughs> you know, they're going to go into slavery. All the curses that you read about in Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down, they're going to catch hell, pure, unfiltered hell, man. And it's going to be double, too. It's going to be double. Yeah. It's going to be double. The punishment that they receive, you know. And it said, it's stirring up the dead for thee, mm -hmm. which is talking about the other nations. Yeah. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nation. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Are thou also become weak as we? Which is going into the time of World War Three, which we're entering into that time right now. That's why you've got certain countries, like so called weaker countries in comparison to America, be it like North Korea or Iran, they're boasting now that they've got nuclear missiles. Now they can come up to the bully and take the bully out, which is America, right. you know? So we're living in that time where World War III is about to kick off, man. Because all these different nations have got nuclear, nuclear capabilities like America. Mm -hmm. And America is Esau's main stronghold mm -hmm. that our Lord is going to destroy, man. That's, right. That's why he's raising up the, the chief ones of the earth, mm -hmm. whether it be a Kim Jong, Kim Jong Un, right, of uh, North Korea, Xi Jinping of China, and the list goes on, man. They're being raised up right now because we're in the midst of World War Three. They're all free verse night. We're not prepare war. Prepare war. You know? Go ahead. It says, Are thou become like unto us? Thy pope, thy pomp, pomp is brought down to the grave, mm -hmm. and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, mm -hmm. and the worms cover thee. They're going into the fucking infrastructure of America. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. being crumbled. Yep. Yep. You know? It says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, mm -hmm. the son of the morning? And what does Lucifer mean? Lucifer simply means light bearer. Right. 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 It's really speaking about the wicked elite of Esau and Edom mm -hmm. that bear the light, so to speak, mm -hmm. but on right. the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So called you know, Illuminati. So called Illuminati. Which they're illuminated. You know, yeah. I'll give them that. Yeah. They're illuminated, but they're mm -hmm. illuminated yeah. in wickedness. Right. In wickedness. And it's good to say uh, the, the knowledge of wickedness is yeah. not. It's yeah. not it's not knowledge. Yeah, Roughly paraphrasing yeah, it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, the, the knowledge of wickedness is not knowledge. Roughly it's paraphrasing not wisdom. It's not wisdom. There you go. For one, mm. the, the, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Yeah. So the wisdom that you do have is not, right. it's not beneficial to right. them. It's not beneficial. Right. Right. Stand down with that. Uh, the that chair, the chair, by the chocolates. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, witchcraft. And it says, um, it said, how art thou cut down to the ground, which how, did as weak as the nation? How is Esau being cut down to the ground right now? Why this, right? The scriptures. 
That's how Esau is being cut down. That's how he's being exposed. That's how his society is crumbling. It's really through the scriptures first. Because we're speaking into existence his end. Mm -hmm. And it's actually exactly. it's actually taking place. Yes, sir. But guess what? It's gonna really be cut down when our Lord returns, man. Right? See, right now the Lord is cutting him yeah. down spiritually, spiritually by the scriptures. It says in uh, Hebrews 4, verse 12, that the sword of the Lord, that the word of the Lord is like unto a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. So right now Esau's getting cut in the spirit. All types of all types of ways, man. Mm -hmm. Bob is bringing out information, yeah. you know, exposing him. Exposing these elites, exposing the, the wickedness of the society. And then again, when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's it. It's game over on a physical level. Mm -hmm. That's who's going to destroy your kingdom on a physical level. Not us, right? See, we're puny right now. Yeah. We don't have that strength. Right. Guess what? Yahweh Shai does. Right. The angels do. Exactly. Go ahead. And it says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend unto the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. Which they done that in the late 60s yeah. and the early 70s with their Apollo flights. Yeah. They were so cool, went to what they did. They went to space, set up their different uh, satellite dishes and whatnot, and set up their nest upon high. And when you read about the stars there, it's also speaking about us as the Israelites. Because right? right. our Lord likened us unto stars. You read about that in Deuteronomy 1 verse 10. Mm -hmm. This day I've likened you unto stars, not from paraphrasing. Go ahead. It says, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. The mount of the congregation of the Israelites. Yeah, which right? is here in North America. Right? Here in North America, Babylon the Great. Right. This is where you have the 12 tribes of Israel it's being right. oppressed together, being oppressed together as a nation, man. In the size of the north. And there's a reason why it says that, the size of the north. It doesn't say the size of the east or the size of the exactly. south or the size of the west. No, the size of the north. north. Because this is where the Israelites are. Of course, you have our people that are scattered amongst the nations around the world. Yeah. But this the is the, the judgment. judgment. This is where, no, this is where the, the great judgment. judgment is going to take exactly. place, man, in the size of the north, man. The great judgment and the great deliverance. That's right. Pursuant to Jeremiah 16 and verse 14. Yeah. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Mm -hmm. I will be like the most high. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see what this devil is trying to do, man. You know, the whole fourth industrial revolution, you know, trying to make, uh, trying to merge man and machine. So why I say they watch every movement, man? Yeah, you know, to, to they can control, you. Yeah, they can control your, your, your thinking, the way you react to certain things. And you can see it right now with, with just on the smartphone. You might have been looking at an ad for whatever, the Jack. Then next thing you know, you, you're getting sent all type of information about the Gap or stores similar to the Gap, you know, like Banana Republic or something. So, so this devil is already playing on your, on your, you know, on your mind what, what he wants you to think. Why? Because he wants to be like the Most High. You know. Hey, that's why I said in Habakkuk that you're not satisfied because. See, right now, Esau has power, all right? They have power, the elites have power. It says in Job 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But guess what? They want more power. They actually want to be inside you. Yeah. Just kidding. They want to be inside you. They want to they want to penetrate you, man. And that's yeah. really what Esau wants to do unto the Lord's woman, which is the, the Israelites, man. He wants to be inside you. He wants to force himself on you via that chip, via the mark of, via the, mark of the beast. No. Mm -hmm. yep. Got a precept. Right. This is uh Second Thessalonians chapter two and uh verse four. It said, Who opposed it and it's right, verse three. Three? All right, come on. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. What day is that? The day of the Lord, the day of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, the day when Yahweh Shai comes back to deliver the elect and destroy Esau's kingdom on a physical level. That day could not come unless we fell away. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened unto our people. We fell away from our heritage. We got kicked out of our land, both the Northern Kingdom of Israel and the Southern Kingdom of Israel, right? The so-called blacks, the Latinos and the Americans. And then, and then we fell away from our heritage. Yeah. We fell away from knowing that we were, we were the Israelites, yeah. from knowing, from having the knowledge of these scriptures, yeah. and ultimately knowing our Lord, man, yeah. knowing his name, you know? That's what we fell away from. Going all the way, all the way back to 70 AD, man. 
that's when the Lord is truly angry, angry with us and kicked us out of our land yeah. and pretty, pretty much stripped our Israelite heritage from us. Yeah. You know? Yep. Going after 70 AD, going into the transatlantic yeah. slave trade. Yeah. All these things happened unto us for a reason. Yeah. It was punishment. Right. You know, because we uh, went into a covenant with our Lord that we were going to keep his laws yeah. and statutes and commandments. And because we didn't do that, the Lord got angry and he yeah. put these curses upon us, man. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't keep, we didn't our, keep end, our end. Yeah, our end of the, of the guilt. Right. So it says, who opposes those like me? It says, and that man of sin, oh, yeah. he revealed that the son man, of perdition. That man of sin. Mm -hmm. One man, the so-called white man. That's the man of sin. Right? His name in, in, in the Bible, or their name in the Bible is the Edomites. Okay? They're the descendants of Esau, Edom. Today they call themselves white people, Caucasians, Europeans, by natural facts. They're the Edomites, man. And they've transgressed every law in the Bible, every, and then some. Every law. Okay? And that's what, that's what sin is. Sin is, sin is the transgressions of the laws. That's right. What laws? The laws of the Heavenly Father, man. That's that he right. gave unto our people, the Israelites, via, via Moses, man. Right. Go ahead. It said, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's him ruling over the Lord's people. Mm -hmm. All right? Making it, making it where you got many of our people, they sell out to make covenants with him. Yeah. Make covenants with this devil, make, it think, make, it, make you think that your problems will go away. You even got certain women. They think that if they hook up with Esau, yeah, that yeah. They, all their problems will go away. Yeah. You know? But but here it is. You, done, you, you Now you're dealing with the devil. Straight up. You know? Yeah. But that's 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 him ruling over our people and making himself as a god. Because, you know, when it comes to when it comes to Jake, man, Jake wanna do everything to try to impress uh, Esau, man. Yeah. That's why the scripture says, why trim is thy way to seek love, man? And this yeah. man is the ultimate enemy, man. Yeah, the and the scripture says, Do, uh, don't don't trust thy enemy, man. Yeah. No. Hey, the thing, the problem with our people is that they got an extreme low self-esteem. You know? And that's really because they don't know who they are. Exactly. Alright? If you knew that you was the, the the sons and daughters of the true and living power, Yahweh, Bashina, Shai. You wouldn't have a self-esteem. Exactly. Our very name, Israel, which right. is Yasha Allah in the ancient Hebrew, means what? He is a prince of the power. That's right. Okay? He, Yah, Shah, Prince, Allah, A-H-L-A, -A, which means power or God. That's who we are, man. So there's really no need to try and um, right. be like the so-called white man or these other nations. Right. We're, we're the gods right. of the earth. We're the kings of the yeah. earth, man. Yeah. We're superior to them. We're superior to them, man. So we don't need to compete with these sort of people. What we need to do, really need to do, is just come back to you, come back to you, come back to your house, come back to these, these scriptures, come back to your true nationality, and wait upon the Lord, man. Yeah, but we don't have to compete with Esau because we go in truth. Yeah. And truth is pure power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're a force, or when you're a power, just like your brother from England said, so you don't have to, um, um, when you have a power, you roll in truth. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to be deceptive. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna be rolling in truth. And what's, what's the truth? Yeah, I was shot. Yeah, I was, why? Yeah, I was shot. All right, that's gonna be our power. That's gonna be our source. You know. So we're not gonna uh, have to compete with them. These because these eleven nations are mere men. Okay. Yeah. They're this, mortals. They're mortals. Yeah. You know. Immortals against what? Immortals. That's why the Lord called them the sons of men and the sons of the wicked. Yeah. We are the sons of God. Yeah. Sons of the power. The living power. The scripture said that how oh, they're gonna envy us. You know, in our kingdom, they, they envy us now. But how much more will we in the yeah, yeah, righteousness, yeah. Yeah. righteousness, man? It's gonna be a you know, they they really gonna envy us, man. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going there. All right. It says, um, verse five. It says, "Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things." So these, these you know, that's why the apostle Paul, the apostle Paul also said the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning, because you gotta understand, man, what we know. We knew this in our past lives, man. Mm -hmm. Right? We knew what That's time it was right. concerning how Bashmao Shai and who was in rulership back then. And who was in rulership back then? Esau Edom. Yeah. 
the only difference is that they weren't calling themselves white people or Caucasians or Europeans. Romans. No, they were calling themselves Greeks or mm -hmm. the you know, Grecians and Romans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the Greco Roman Empire that the Apostle Paul was prophesying against. All right? And we're doing the same thing all over again over here in America because America is the extension of the ancient Greco Roman Empire. Right. So go ahead. And it says, and now ye know that, it's like, now you know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. Yep. And that, that time yeah, that time is now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't see that this man is a damn devil, man, mm -hmm. you're out of you're out of touch with, with reality. Yeah. This man done did so many things against our people to do not to even do you, you shouldn't even question if this man is the devil or not, man. He he put it out there on Front Street, man, all the time, man. Mm -hmm. Things that, you know, the spirit revealed. You know, how this man, he, he'll, he'll, you know, he'll give you GMO, mm -hmm. he'll do all type of shit, uh, uh, give you, uh, 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 give you, um, you know, that juice, yeah. and tell you how, you know, this is, <laughs> this would be beneficial for you, for the, for, mm -hmm. you know, that you don't, that you don't die, but here it is, he's shooting up all type of poison in you, man. The scripture says there, there are, there are, uh, 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 no physician. No, nah, it's going on. It says uh, there are. Uh, Why done? Yeah, because I gotta, I gotta, gotta uh, charge it. But it says there are physicians of, uh, of uh, no value. Yeah. You know. You know this man is the damn devil, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it says, for the mystery of iniquity do it already work. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it was a mystery back then as to who the devil was, as to who the Edomites were. However, the Apostle Paul knew about Esau and Edom. That's why he mentioned them in uh, Romans the ninth chapter. Yeah, exactly. You know? Well, that's heavy. But on, unto the majority of our people, it was a mystery as to who Esau was, who the Edomites were, who the man of sin was, okay? But now that man of sin is being revealed by the Al-Bash Shai by way of his servant, the prophets, okay? And now we found out that the so-called white man is that man, all right? The mystery of iniquity, the king of sin. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Put in the charger. Yeah, slightly. That's all good. That's all good. Yeah. There we go. So yeah. read that again. Huh. It reads on. I mean, it reads again. It says, "For the mystery of iniquity do it already work. Mm -hmm. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way." So who put me to power? Our heavenly Father, the power. He's the one that. You know, rose this man up from his low estate, from his beastly mm -hmm. estate, according to uh, Job the thirtieth chapter. The Harabash now Shah is risen him up only to bring him down, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're in the we're in the that we're in the midst of that. The Lord is bringing him down right now on a spiritual level, but it's going to happen on, on a physical level, mm -hmm. man. That's right. how that's how powerful the Most High is, yeah, man. Where well, he can just raise up a base man as yeah. Esau and have him. Ruling the whole world, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Power of the Lord. <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm going to get to the point. But let me just get to 16 real quick. This is Daniel 4 and 16. Stop it over. Stop it over. Oh, yeah, it's like it. This is Daniel 4 and 16. Check this out. And this is going into, see, this is how, um, how, how powerful the Lord is, man. It says, let his heart be changed from, a, from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him. And let seven times pass over. That was up to, um... Nebuchadnezzar, right? Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. mm -hmm. And the Lord, and he was proud, man. You know, and the Lord turned to, to an actual beast. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that's going to happen to you, Edomites again, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you, you, Edomites was in a beastly state, and now the Lord's going to, because you're a basis of all men. Okay, and the Lord had, uh, had, um, had, you know, put you in a certain stature, okay, just to make you proud. And now, going back to Romans, the ninth chapter, okay, the Lord just um, built you up to break you down. Yeah. You see, now this is uh, Lord, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But look at this. Look at the Lord can do because this is you even like got the game fucked up. Y'all there, you know, um, you know, opening certain things and trying to say, oh, well, we're gonna be gods. There's nothing you can do about it. The Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna about to tear you, tear you even like down, man. Yeah. This is Daniel four seventeen. This matters by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know. That the Most High, who the living, all men, um, may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, 
and setteth up over it the basis of men. Now, who's that? You Edomites. So you ain't put yourself in power, man. You people came from the caves. All right? All right, the Lord has set you people up in power. Guess what? The Lord's getting ready to take you people out of power. Yeah. And that's what you Edomites, okay, fail to realize. No matter what you do, you are not going to receive a new order. Yeah. All right? And you're not going to be gods. You're not going to be immortal. And there's nothing you can do about it. All right? You can get mad at us how much you want. Guess what? We, we have that inheritance. Yeah. All right? We have that promise. All right? You don't. Yeah. It was rejected. The birth, the birthright was rejected. Put by Esau. The birthright came, went to our father. Yeah, the man. birthright went to our father. Yaiqua, all right? Yaiqua, Jacob, mm -hmm. whose name was changed to Israel, right? He became the prince of the power. I were his descendants, man. Wow. Right. Let's finish that out yeah. in the Second Thessalonians. Cut. Yeah, we just read this out. So this is uh, verse 8. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which yeah. represents the prophets, mm -hmm. right? What is what a mouthpiece, basically, of Yahweh washing our shot. And we're not speaking our own words, by the way. We're speaking the words of our Lord. That's why everything we say, we back it up by the scriptures. Okay, we say that America's going to be destroyed, or America's battle on the great. There's a scripture for that. We say that you're gonna go into you're gonna go into slavery. There's a, there's a scripture for that, all right? Revelation 39 and 10, Psalms 149, verse 5 on down. We back up everything we're saying by the scripture, so we're not speaking our own words. Okay? Go ahead. And it says, It shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. Referring to when the hour shy comes back with those thousands of angels that we read. In uh, Psalm 68 and 17, that's the brightness of our Lord's coming, man. He's coming back in a glorious fashion. He's coming back in panache, you know, in, in his chariots, which must be a, a, a glorious and yeah. fearful day, man. Yeah. Of course, of course. It's gonna, it's, yeah, it's going to be a dreadful day, man. Yeah. It, speak, it speaks on that, you know, the, the day of the Lord, uh, the day as darkness, yeah, and not light. Not light. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that, day, that day is going to be a you know, a day of, of reckoning. Yeah. You know, mm. payback yeah. for what you Edomites did to our Lord. Yeah. All right, when you when you was as the Romans, and also now, you know what you've done to his people, man. Because you ain't just enslave any old body, man. You, you slave the children of Israel, man. Yeah. All right, the Lord's wife, man. Yeah. His yeah. wife. Imagine yeah. someone touched your wife, your yeah. your 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 beautiful yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's over. It's over. It's over. You you wrecked shop. Yeah, yeah you wrecked shop. Yeah, the scripture said that um they, that um, he saw just pleased with all the heathen. Yeah. And then the scripture also said because one it said that they've gone too far. And two, the Lord also yeah. said that you touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Right. And when you go into the word apple, it means the in, the inner part of your eye. That somebody, let's say you're in a fight, right? Somebody poking the eye. The first thing you know, yeah. what you're gonna do after that, the reaction to that is to take that person fuck yeah. out. It's not no always oh, you're gonna be like this yeah. and then anger builds up immediately. Yeah. And you wanna take that person the fuck out. Yeah. So what's gonna happen to you? That's why Obadiah says that you're gonna be as dust. All the heathen is gonna be as nothing, man. And you Edomites are gonna be exterminated. That's another dust said the blood. It's not coming out of our mouth. That's out of the Bible. You so called white people, you Edomites, are gonna serve slavery for a thousand years. And you're going to be wiped off the face of the earth forever. Mm -hmm. You're never going to exist. That's right. That's why you got the ancient, even you got the even the ancient relics, the ancient um uh, 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 portraits of the angels. You know, we, we, we put you in slavery in chains, man. Us and the angels, all of us, we all going to get put you in chains. The sons of God, the angels, um, the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Well, he's gonna get first. He's dibs. getting first dibs. Yeah, he's gonna get first dibs. <laughs> yep, that's it, man. All right, so let me let me uh, go back. Second Thessalonians mm -hmm. two and uh, nine. It says, "Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, mm -hmm. with all power and signs and lying wonders." And that's talking about the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon Satan, 
Esau here on this earth today, man. And what the, one of those lion wonders is, is that chip. You know, he's going to make it so uh, uh, pretty to the point where he may try to deceive the very elect, man. This, this, this man is going to make it where when this chip is basically promoted and, and pushed out here in the society, you're going to see so many people, they're going to be deceived that even those that, 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 that are in the churches, man. You know, because why? Your pastor is going to be with it. Your pastor is going to be telling you to go take the, 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 the MOTB. You know? This man is going to make it where it's going to be the best thing ever. So that right there is part of his witchcraft. It's part of his lying wonders, man. Hmm. Yeah, when you go into that word, um, lying, I believe it's pseudo. All right? Like you've got a thing called, uh, a term called pseudoscience, mm -hmm. which is basically false. Yeah, but so it's basically a falsehood. And like the brother said, Esau is going to deceive the masses of people by his technology, man. And right now, you know, his. The whole technology that he's pushing is that part of the microchip. That's basically going to be the cure to all things. It's going to be the cure to all diseases. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the solution to all problems on the earth. Okay? That's the time that we're coming into. And a lot of our people are going to be deceived into taking that chip. And then you'll even have Israelites out there that know that that's the mark of the beast. Right. But they're going to go ahead and mm -hmm. take the chip. Because they haven't been... Faith wants to have watch now shy. You see this thing of, about not taking a chip? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with you, bro. Right. Or sis. <laughs> it's so, all about you have watch now shy. Yeah. Put the spirit upon you to resist right. taking a chip. Right. That's what it's all about. Right. The Lord has to be with you in that day right. or in that time. Because it's gonna be based on a moral decision. Exactly. You're, you're gonna you gonna they, you're they, gonna be conscious. Exactly. You're gonna know like Damn, I'm I'm gonna take this, but this is not right. Yeah. Cause first of all, the fact that you have a, a chip inside of you, that that's that's off. That's, yeah. that's off. off. Yeah. That's completely so you know right yeah. there, yeah. that's gonna be a, a moral decision for you to make. It ain't oh what if they just torture me and they, they kidnap me and, and they stick it in me. Listen, man, at the end of the day the elect the, that ain't gonna happen to the elect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be a moral decision up to you to say whether you're going to take it or not. You know, because why we all going to have to go through it. We're going to all have to be tested in that in that time. Man. And, and like the brother said, you know, it's going to be where a lot of you are going to take it, man. Because why? If you if you haven't been in the spirit of your high bashi shy as far as uh, 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 doing research, studying, and, and praying, Man, you ain't you ain't you ain't gonna have you ain't gonna have that hedge, man. You ain't gonna have that hedge over you, man. All right. A lot of you are just gonna go off of your damn emotions, man, and go ahead and take that. A lot of you men, you gonna listen, be listening to your woman, you know, you listening to your kids and whatnot, and you gonna go ahead and take that shit. And then ultimately you are gonna be destroyed, man, because when you take it, you can't repent from that. You you know, even though it's not a law. But that's a moral decision, knowing that once you take that, you're going to be destroyed, according to Revelation 14, chapter, verse 9. Yeah, because the Lord has been he's going to be justified and destroy you, and destroy you because he's been warning you of right. through his seventh prophets. Right. And it's not like we're not out there in the open. Great most of we be doing videos on the mark of the beast, at least one of us. One, one brother within Great Northstar, wherever they are around the world, mm -hmm. A video is always going up always every going up. day of the week right. concerning the mark of the beast. All right? So there's no excuse. There's no excuse. But that's why it's important to get closer to Yahweh Bashan Shai to just do his will, man. Because in that day, you're going to want the Lord to put a spirit upon you to resist oh, um, this mark. I got something real quick for that. The third chapter? I was going to get that real quick. Yeah, let's get that as okay. well. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got something real quick. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, Second, Second Peter chapter two, uh, verse nine mm -hmm. it says, "The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly mm -hmm. out of temptation, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished." Man, so see, you know, the Lord, He know how to get you out of certain uh, uh, situations, man. 
Because we're all going to be in need mm-hmm. of to eat, to, mm-hmm. to, 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 you know, be, be uh, guided through the Spirit. We're going to all need that, man. Yeah. To, to, the Lord knows our predicament. So the Lord knows how to get us out of certain situations. Right? And he knows how to put you in it. Right. Situations. Also to put you in situations. But he always finds a way to escape. Like we yeah. read earlier in uh, 1 Corinthians, yeah, yeah. the 10th chapter. Yeah. You know, he'll always find a way for you to escape. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Especially if, if, you're, if you're faithful and you're calling upon him in all truth and sincerity, man. The Lord's going gonna, gonna to help you out. Mm-hmm. There's no way the Lord, when it comes to these men, there's no way the Lord is just going to leave them hanging. Right? Even if you like are in a predicament, again, if you're in, in a prison system, Esau's prison system, right. or you find yourself under underneath the guillotine, trust me, like in that day, you have Bash is gonna be with you one way or another. He's gonna give you the spirit to either endure it, uh, to give you the spirit of encouragement, or there's gonna be an angel there to deliver you. Alright? That's how it's gonna go yeah. down. Because he's not just gonna leave you right. hanging. The Lord, the, the Lord isn't unrighteous to forget how does it how does our, it go? Works and love, our right. works and labor of love, which is you know doing doing this truth, you know right. doing this work, man. Right? Right. So the Lord ain't gonna just leave you hanging, man. That's why again it's important to this be faithful unto your Bash and our Shai. Pray for more faith, because you can't you know you can't give yourself faith. You gotta pray for faith, man. You gotta pray unto your Bash and our Shai to give you more faith, mm-hmm. you know, to put your trust in Him. Right. Let me get Revelation yeah. 3 10. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. Yeah. Yep, it says, Because this is now, this is, okay, yeah. this is in the this is the words of your, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. What's Yahweh Shai patience? This faith, doing the work. Mm-hmm. Okay, go in the houses and byways do, um, for the prophets doing, the video, doing our videos. All right. For you believers, that's believing and and uh and you know participating and uh with the prophets as much as you possibly can, man. But first and foremost, the main thing is keeping your house shine's patience, is keeping that faith and doing yeah, the work until the end, man. Yeah. That's the the faith of your house shine, man. Yeah. Doing this until we can't do it. No doing more. this until we can't do it no more. Like, Powers and bowers. Like the the main topic that's at hand, you know, concerning mm-hmm. persecution. Doing it until they come for us, basically. Mm-hmm. Doing it until they come for us, or we can't. Go out no more and do this work. Here with Paul said, I fought the good fight. Yeah. Alright? And that's what we're doing. We going Lord willing, Yahweh Bashimel Shai keep the spirit on us. Yahweh Shai said he will. We're gonna fight that good fight until the end, man. Lord because Lord. because look, look what the Lord said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, mm-hmm. which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now what? Now what does this world want to do? What is Esau Edom planning on doing? Well, they want to bring in the fourth industrial revolution, merging man with machine, because they want to make something new. What do they want to do? They want to make a hybrid of people. Ultimately, they we know what they want to do. They want to make us slaves, and they want to be gods. Yeah. All right. So that temptation is that what? If you're not getting down with this new world order, with this new uh, um, rev, um, industri- with this new system, mm-hmm. then. <laughs> You're out of here, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, oh, you know what? So since you don't want to be part of us, we'll let you be in, that, in your own little section and let you just be part of that old world. Nah, man. If you're not getting down with Esau, you gotta go. That's it. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, is going to be our stay, man. Because guess mm-hmm. what? Death has no sting no more. All right? And, and, and that's, like I said, only a few of us, okay, will have, to, just for, um, for, for prophecy's sake, is going to be martyrs. But let me tell you something yeah. this time, Esau, Edom. Okay, you Edomites, the Lord gonna have something, the Lord got something for your asses. It's called spiritual power. Yeah. You see what you're doing? You, you, you done fucked up and messed with sovereigns, man. Yeah. Okay, and all throughout these scriptures, from Genesis to Revelation, there was something that was given to us, man. Power, yeah. How about Shemi I was shy? And any time a right, we was in trouble, the Lord always answered us, man, came to our help. The Lord said in Joshua 23 and 10, um, that on um, one man should chase a thousand. Yeah. I, the Lord, will do this for you as I, as I have promised you. Mm-hmm. All right? When you go to Isaiah 59, 19, it says that what? That um, that um, that the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them. Okay? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Mm-hmm. Spiritual power is coming, man. Mm-hmm. 
So you could come with all your all your trickery, all your technology. It's going to be fun for us, okay? Because guess what? You could, It's going to be spiritual power, the spirit against against your technology. And the Lord's about to open or turn us all the way up when you devils get ready to make your moves, man. Yeah. So either way, we win. It's a win-win situation. Hey, hey, what did it say in Jeremiah 16 and 16? It speaks about how he shall send for hundreds. Send unto fishes. Yeah. And then he shall send for hundreds. So yeah. the angels are going to be on our side in that day, man. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And, and the Lord is going to raise brothers up. Brothers that, up. That spiritual that's power. Spiritual like you said, not every brother is going to get caught in Esau's persecution. Right. Exactly. You know? This is the time we got to, you know, we're going to see miracles, man. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, going to start seeing some miracles, man. Huh. Just like during the time of Acts, yeah. when, you know, the angel busted that jail oh, and, and, and took took Peter, yeah. took Peter out of yeah, there. Out. Come on, man. We're going to start seeing some things like that, man. I, well, I got you right now. Huh, huh. This is, I mean, this is Revelation 11 mm -hmm. and uh, verse 5. Yes, sir. Well, let's start at verse 3. Revelation mm -hmm. 11, verse 3, it says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses. Who's the two witnesses? Yes. The southern and the northern tribe. Okay? Those are the two witnesses. That's also talked about over mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. There's a, there's a mice in here, bro. I've seen it. Yeah. Right yeah. Oh, shit. Brave 2. It's all good. We continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Revelation 11, verse 3. It says, um, and I will give power mm -hmm. unto my two witnesses. Mm -hmm. sh is there a dog? Can you shut your dog? Yeah, dog. Yeah. 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 Yeah Men, so called Latino men, so called uh, Native American men, standing in order together, all right, breaking out these scriptures. No, that bug. No, that bug? No, it's a kind of plant. Um, it's a plant. So it said, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand, a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Mm -hmm. There are, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the most high of the earth. And the two olive trees and two candlesticks represent Israel. Mm -hmm. When you go to the candlesticks, that's talking about Revelation in the first chapter. When you go to the olive trees, it's talking about that in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it also talked about that, and um, Paul talked about that, the wild olive tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how you know it's talking about Israel. It okay. says, verse 5, 11, Revelation 11, verse 5. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. Meaning what? Meaning the Lord's gonna be with us. If any <laughs> any man should try to touch these men that have that power, the Lord's gonna devour them, man. Yeah. You see? That's what's gonna happen. That's that right there is the spiritual power scripture. That the Lord's gonna give his men spiritual power. Good, bro. It says, um, it's funny, I'm I'm used to it now. That's what we gotta get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This shit yeah. is crazy, yo. Crazy. Yeah. It's demonic. Yeah, it's it's them, and if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, meaning that, but that's talking about literal fire. We're gonna have power. Yeah. When you go into scripture, Micah says that what laser is gonna be coming out, coming out of our eyes, man. Bright burn. Bright burn. Bright burn. He must in this manner be killed. Yeah. So we're gonna be judging. It's gonna be great judgment for you heathens out here once we get that SP, man. Mm -hmm. Alright? Alright, so with that, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushad, Bashem, Kabadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the apostles and elders of Ashabala. Peace and salutations to the Bayaf that with that, the house of David Ophelet. So until next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.